to think of it. Uh, are there even any other like top level brother teams? Like, oh, maybe uh, Javi and Twin. Javi and Twin, yeah. But outside of that, I know PP teamed with his brother a couple times, but PP was never really known for teams anyway. Yeah, I don't really see him in Twitch uh, really <laughs> do too well together or do well together as, on a big grand scale, right? Exactly. But Armada dropping a stock first. Plot twist. Donoxie and Vortex in the lead. <laughs> wow, look at this. Yeah, this is so Donoxie and Vortex, we just saw them playing before. And wow, they're actually up a lead uh, against Armada with an unfortunate SD. We'll see if they're able to keep this lead. Because against a play like Armada, oh, oh, oh. getting an SD can actually help you out a lot. Yeah, and as you said that, Android lost his first stock too. Uh-oh. Okay. Now comes the yeah. Now comes the business from Team UGS. Exactly. This is not the start they wanted. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, man. When it, when you face off against players like these, if you get caught one time, they will just combo video the crap out of you. You just start right there with Armada. Two stocks deleted. Yeah. And that was such a sneaky edge guard by Armada too, because he dropped down and intentionally traded with the Firebird. Because I think he would have died if he just clean beat the Firebird. I don't think he had enough jump left uh, to actually make it back to the stage. But because of the trade and the Firebird sends you up, he was able to Parasol back to the stage after picking up the kill. I Very good it. awareness by Armada. Right there, I think Android is just way too far to come back to the stage. Look at these guys. You know, actually, what probably might be helping out Doroxy, uh, Donoxy and Vortex a lot too is the fact that we're here on Yoshi's, right? Yoshi's yeah. is a stage that is quite known for just chaos. Madness. Yeah, right? It's, it's, it's absolute out of control, you know? Yeah. It's so small. Um, the interactions, they're so frequent because you're in such a confined space. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, I wouldn't call it random, but yeah. uh, but uh, it um, definitely, uh, like you said, it, it brings the chaos. And that's usually where you'll see uh, the the weaker team, if there's a, like a big skill gap between the teams, the weaker team will tend to counterpick Yoshi to count on that chaos, bringing some sort of opening. And just as you see that, UGS with a nasty combo. God, it was so nasty that even Vortex and Donoxy had to smile after yeah. seeing that one. They're like, you know what? I mean, we were kind of we we're kind of taking the tournament in the beginning. I mean, yeah, the SD, <laughs> but uh, who, who's going to fault us for them as think That's their problem, right? I mean, yeah. we had a little bit of a little lead. That up air combo into fair, though, that, that was art. That's the stuff we're used to seeing from Team UGS. Really? All right, so here we go. We're going to go straight into game two. It's not over yet. Winners round two with our, uh, the true Smash Brothers, the Lingrid Bros versus the Maxine Vortex. Oh, oh yeah, and I thought Android was going to pick up the edge card on both of them at the same time. I was definitely waiting for a double fair, uh, yeah. a, a fair to hit both of them. But regardless, he did get two stocks. Yep. And right now, we have uh, Donoxia Vortex trying um, from behind again, seeing if they can uh, at least see if they can push uh, Android off their back. Because if you look at the way Android is playing, he's actually doing a really good job of just knocking these players off stage. And every time Armada gets an edge guard, it's usually curtains. Yeah. Both of these guys are just so fast. And are these the same two teams we just saw in game one? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> one would be led to believe that it's not and that maybe they just switched. <laughs> yeah. Controllers, I mean, it's crazy. There it is again, Armada just forcing his way in. Yeah. Even uh, hitting his brother during all of his rush down. And I love how Armada recognized oh. that there was a tough situation and he light shielded, reinitiated our Android switch places with him and just forced his way in. Man, these guys are just so good. Yeah, they uh, they sort of wrote the book on like team combos and follow-ups. And oh. Armada with the nasty back here. Come on now, guys. I feel like sometimes, I, I honestly feel like they probably like teams way more than singles. Seeing players like this, uh, I mean, there are certain players out there that just aren't that big of uh, uh, teams enthusiasts, probably because maybe they've had a bad past with teams, and, you know, but w watching Armada and Android, one cannot help but just marvel yeah. at how, how smooth they are, man. Yeah. Jeez. And sort of like the optimization that we've been seeing in singles, and you can just take it so so much further in teams, you know, which is crazy follow-up after follow-up. Eight stock, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Bad from, from the stream, dude. Yeah, that was the statement they were looking for. They were like, you know what? We're one of the favorites to win this whole tournament. We're not going to start off in winner's round one dropping stocks like that. We need to make a statement here in game two. Eight stock, quite the statement. <laughs> Jeez, dude.